How about GE's quarter? I am terrible. Uh, it'll be better in Q1, I hope, where they had negative cash flow. Uh, we're stuck in GE. We're stuck in Snap One. I think Snap One's probably overdone. I got to do more work on it with my team. Uh, uh, we're stuck in uh, Danaher for now, but at least we're up in Danaher, another conglomerate. Of course, I look at the ones that are bad because the good ones take care of themselves. Uh, GE's going to have a new executive, John Flannery. He's got a kitchen sink, really. It's going to be Jeff Immelt's last one. Remember, what are they big in? They're, they're in oil, not so good. They're in turbines, really hasn't been that good. Locomotives are terrible. Uh, they're in infrastructure. Eh, you know what? I mean, they got you know in healthcare. They have to do. Um, they have to take out two billion dollars worth of costs. They could use someone from Tryon on the board. I wish that would happen. They really need that badly. Uh, most complacent company on earth. All right, and then finally, Honeywell. They're also set to report. Now, there's the least complacent industrial. I think Honeywell's going to have a remarkable quarter. Uh, Darius Damchek's going to carry on exactly with what Dave Cody did. It's. Uh, I think that Honeywell's got. Uh, they have amazing aerospace divisions. Business. Darius is considering Dan Loeb's suggestion that maybe they spin it off. Uh, uh, Honeywell has sold divisions from time to time that I really like and uh, bought uh, new companies that I really like, and it's all worked out. It's been one of the best performing industrials. Uh, Honeywell, United Technologies often look at GE and say, What the heck are you thinking? Uh, that could be another what the heck are you thinking moment.